go. All right, it is time for us to talk about crossbreed holsters and the student of the gun homeroom. It's time to be dangerous on demand, hippies. All right, it's the Crossbreed Holsters Homeroom, time to be dangerous on demand. Uh, and if you know anything about us and know anything about our Crossbreed Holsters discussion, uh, we think that you should actually carry your freaking gun. I know, you're like, what? Carry your freaking gun? But I live in New York, and I'm not allowed. I live in California, and I'm not allowed. Well, it sucks to be you, I guess. But for those of us who live in free America, we carry our guns. And the best way to carry your gun is to actually get a high quality holster that you can put on your body and leave there all day long and not have to worry about it. Not have to worry about it, not have to continuously take it on, you know, take it on, take it off, move it around and all that stuff. No, just get up in the morning, put on your pants, put your holster on and leave it alone. Just leave it and it'll be good. If it's a crossbreed, if it's a crossbreed holster, you just leave it man move on with your life man it's crazy it's crazy uh and make sure that when you travel on over to the crossbreed holsters website you use the promotional code sierra oscar tango golf i know i just confused the normies it's sotg type in sotg all right uh, we got a story here we got a story here from the communist broadcasting service also known as cbs news uh, but I thought, what the heck, let's let the communists tell us about what's going on right just directly south of the United States border. Now, you know, one thing, I'm going to preface this. I'm going to preface this. So every time there's a mass shooting in the United States of America, what do other countries do? Uh, I don't know. Oh, they report on it, and they use it as an excuse to disarm their people. They're like, up in America, they had a mass shooting perpetrated by a government bureau. And so we're going to make sure none of our people are allowed to have guns. Canada did it. Freaking Chile. Chile, man, down in uh, South America. Chile, the president of Chile is like, we cannot tolerate this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass a law. Well, the, the Congress or the, the, the Parliament will pass the law, but I told them to pass it, so they have to. And we're going to make sure nobody gets to have guns. See, if anything happens in the United States, other countries lose their crap, right? And they're like, no, our people must be disarmed. So this happened right, like, within a rock's throw of the border of the United States. And I'm wondering, where's our bro Sniffy Joe the meat puppet on this? From from my understanding, this happened in multiple places in Mexico. Where is the cackling uh, camel toe uh, Harris? Where is she on this? Because, you know, if this were to happen in the United States, all the other countries would be like, that's terrible. And blah, 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 blah. remember when it, the, the moment that we allowed that meat puppet to be installed as president, he shut down the border security program. Did you know that they also approved, I think, four sections of the wall to be completed? Uh-huh. After, after the uh, the massive. It was just a quiet thing. Like, that they, you know, uh, after their campaign during the campaign but they said no we will not let illegal. any more not one more inch of this wall will be built yeah um but anyway so this story is at least 11 killed businesses burned near mexico's border with u.s and violence blamed party partly on el chapo's sinaloa cartel hmm. um, so i this is the cool. juarez story and i also heard that tj and then more of a central mexico city i can't remember the name of it was uh was also this was like gang violence that was being perpetrated a wave of violence in a mexican city on the border of the united states left 11 people dead including a radio presenter and a businesses were torched and businesses were torched not a businesses in the first incident in juarez two prison inmates were shot at dead and 20 injured in a riot involving two rival gangs local media said that both groups were linked to the sinaloa cartel whose former leader, El Chapo, is currently serving a life sentence in the United States. <laughs> I also heard that it was 
due to maybe it was the arrest. I was going to say I thought it was due to the death of one of the higher cartel leaders. Hmm. Later on, innocent civilians were attacked as kind of a retaliation by one of the gangs. President Obrador said. Obrador. Two women were killed and another person was hurt in an attack on a food store, which was set on fire along with two other premises in Juarez, which sits just across the border from El Paso, Texas. Mm. Just like right across the border. So you know what they need. Like TJ is, I think, 20 miles from California. Who is? Tijuana. I think it's like 20 miles from our border. But this is Cuidad Juarez. Yeah, this is Juarez. But um, it also happened in... in, uh, It happened in Tijuana, Tijuana too? Yeah. So you know what they need? the reports that I saw were incorrect. In Mexico? More gun control. They need more gun control. They need more gun control. Because we can't just allow these cartels to run around with horrible assault weapons oh crap that's right the mexican drug cartels got their assault weapons from whom they got them from the aft oh in case you guys forgot i know it's been a long time it was all the way back when comrade barry sotero was the uh, faux president of the United States. Yeah, you guys remember when Comrade Barry Sotero uh, was the faux president of the United States? And and uh, his buddy, Eric Holder, they came up with a program. They're like, we're going to bust the cartels wide open. We're going to bring them down. How, how are you going to do that? We're going we're gonna to sell them guns. Hang on, hang on. So they had a they had a, a tabletop meeting. They had a, a pitch meeting. That's what I want the pitch meeting guy to do. Yeah, that's funny. He's like, so what? Do you, what's your plan? We're gonna bring down the cartels. Okay, that's a that's a uh, that would be a noble uh, undertaking. Uh, how are you gonna plan it on taking down the cartels? We're gonna sell them guns. Yeah, but it's uh, it's actually illegal for uh, cartel members to purchase guns in the United States. And like, oh, it's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have we're gonna work with gun dealers, and when they when they run the background check on these cartel members, we're gonna say approved. Go ahead and sell it to them. Yeah, but wouldn't that uh, wouldn't that literally funnel thousands of guns across the border into the into Mexico into the hands of the cartels? Yeah, yeah, but but here's the good news. What's well, what is the good news? Oh, well, we're gonna get the Mexican authorities after we do this, after we've done it, and and it's a fait accompli. Then we're gonna go to the Mexican authorities and tell them to arrest all those people. Yeah, but if the Mexican authorities could arrest the uh, gun cartel people or the the drug cartel people wouldn't they already be arresting them oh no 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 but they'll have our guns and that'll make it worse i don't really understand how this is going to work (laughs) that's the pitch meeting so the pitch meeting was we're going to bring down the cartels and the other person said how are we going to do that and they said we're going to sell them guns and they're going to take them across the border into mexico So what you guys are not supposed to be remembering right now, all you Americans, it's like it's like the government tries to do that, that um, men in black flashy thing so that you don't remember. They're like, yeah, this cartel violence is terrible. It's horrible. Like who armed him? What do you mean? Um, Remember when Eric Holder uh Comrade Barry Sotero Obama, uh, when they funneled thousands of guns directly into the hands of cartel members. Remember when they did that? Oh, but they used it to bring the cartels down. Did they bring the cartel down? Are, have the cartels been brought down? Jared, how many people were arrested and convicted of felonies Thanks to Operation Wide Receiver and Fast and Furious. What happened to the cover? Did a dog eat it? What happened? Yeah, this was from my 
My dog Cinder. Are a you long kidding? Long time ago, yeah. From Biloxi? Yeah. Aww. Wow. I still, Aww. Have, I still have that old camo jacket that she chewed Weird. up the sleeve on. So, so this book is called. Wait, what? You have what? Camo jacket. That old camo jacket she chewed the sleeve on. Oh yeah. Remember that one? Weird. Yeah. Anyway, guns across the border. Guns across the border by Mike Deddy. Mike Deddy's a friend of ours. If you don't have this book, pick it up, read it. There's a lot of information about Operation Wide Receiver, which was actually the precursor to. Um, I just it just left my brain. Operation Wide Receiver and to Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Mm-hmm. So op, it's the the title of the book is called op- Operation Wide Receiver. And the subtitle is An Informant Struggle to Expose the Corruption and Deceit that Led to Operation Fast and Furious. Uh, It is available right now as an Amazon book. You should buy it. So never forget the AFT. So this is is prior to. Yeah. Never forget that the same AFT that wants to disarm you, the United States, the American citizen, is the exact same AFT that funneled thousands of guns directly, purposefully, knowingly, into the hands of the drug cartels. And so what do we see today? CBS News. Uh, massive violence on the border as drug cartels run rampant, killing people. Da, 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 da. And uh, is anybody going to say, hey, when are we going to put those guys that, that were involved in this in jail? When are the, the Department of Justice people who uh, orchestrated this, when are those guys going to go to jail? Oh, Never. We need those people to disarm the Americans. We we need those AFT guys to disarm the American citizens. Oh, got it. See, I forgot. I forgot that we needed the AFT guys to. So the same AFT that armed the cartels deliberately, purposefully, knowingly. Oh, and the answer to the question is how many cartel members were convicted of felonies and jailed thanks to wide receiver and fast and furious. That number would be zero. They got one misdemeanor conviction. Woo! Well, I bet that guy learned his lesson. Yeah, I bet that guy learned his lesson. Uh, and by the way, Mike Deddy, you're a freaking gangster. Mike Mike Deddy is the OG. Yeah, no kidding. He's the original. Mike Daddy's the OG. If you All want right. to know why he's the OG, you should read this. You book. should read the book. Read There's the freaking book. I know Mike. Right. We know why he's the OG, but know why he's you OG, don't know why he's I the OG. I know him, and as I was reading this book, I was like, is Mike going to live through this? I hope, I hope Mike doesn't get killed. I hope killed. Mike lives through this. It's like, yeah, but he wrote the book, so I think oh, yeah, that's right. right. 